Hi Daniel, hope you're doing good. So here's a demonstration of the procedure that how can we add our products in this webflow and using the import option and that what are the limitations why we need our this third party asterisk. So let's start. Uh, first of all, we just uh, import our new product by using this import option. Then we have to download this template as webflow only allow to add the products in this predefined template. So just uh, open the template. I'm going to delete all of these products and then add the new one. So let's start by adding the new product with the name of test. Set its type to digital. Let's suppose the description is testing. And this is the product main image. Here is the price. Let's add the compare price to. And then in case of when the product is digital, the two main fields are uh, the name of the file and the URL of the file that user will download when he she will check out. So here is the file name, for example, test name, and then the down URL. So I'm done, save it and then back to our webflow and import this file in which uh, I just added the products. So import it. And see, I'm done. So here's the new product uh, with the type digital, with the name test, uh, with the um, image, with the uh, price and compare price with the file name and with the URL. Now, what are the limitations? Limitations here are these two fields, these two custom fields. And Webflow uh, is not permitting us to fill these two custom fields by using this import option. So this is the reason uh, that we have to fill these two custom fields uh, 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 by using this third party. So I'm using the third party in order to fill these two custom fields that was not filled by the Webflow. So this is the part one. So in part two, I will explain that how can I uh, fill these two uh, custom fields by using our third party. So let's start with the third party, connect to the web flow, choose a site, Now click the products and now in this case uh, if the first step in the strike is to bulk export by pressing this button uh, basically it will export the file uh, which will contain that formation of all these two products so let's start here is the file and now see I have the information of these two uh, products only these two uh, custom fields are left, uh, which was not filled by the webflow. So let's fill them here. Let's suppose popular switch is true. And let's suppose the features are testing one, two, three. So let's save it. So I just filled these two custom fields that was not filled by the webflow. So I use this asterisk file. I filled these two fields, I saved it, and now back to strike now bulk export bulk import the same file that i edited so i'm done back to my webflow refresh the page And yes, now see uh, these two custom uh, fields that was not filled by the Webflow import option is filled by our third party ex, uh, third party asteroid. So by following this procedure, uh, we uh, don't have to enter any information manually. 
all of the information will be filled uh, by this asterisk. All of the uh, information of the custom fields will be uh, filled by this uh, asterisk and uh, the rest of fields will, uh, will filled by the webflow. So hope uh, you are getting my point that why we have to use our third party uh, asterisk. So that's all. Thank you.